Hello everyone, this is Anayat Mir. I am back with my video 2 where I have installed PowerShell CLI at the end of video 1. So let's open up a new command prompt and run AWS hyphen hyphen version. So you will see a response from this command. So now we can see that we have AWS version installed. Uh, next is AWS configure. So now we have to configure AWS because we need to use a user accounts IDs uh, to proceed from this point. So here we have access key ID and a secret access key for the user which we provisioned in video 1. You can have here the region which you are using. Uh, I mentioned here that uh, we can change the region. So later on I will go ahead and change the region. On the back end offline I installed a client machine Windows 8 using VMware workstation. So what is the intention is that VM2WS host which is this one which I installed needs to be migrated into AWS console as EC2 instance using cloud endure method. So I am going to do this process now. So currently you are looking at the specifications. We can use cloud endure and also uh, lift and shift. So either one we can use. So either uh, method is good. So uh, I will I will demo both uh, methods with my this video series. So here I am going to customize this machine, this host. So you see here couple of folders. Uh, some folders are empty. Maybe I will add a notepad in one of these folders. Uh, so in this way, once we migrate in to AWS console as EC2 instance, we will be able to see exactly what we have at the source. Source means on-prem. So consider in a production environment, you have on-prem servers or you have on-prem client computers and you are going to migrate into your AWS EC2 instance. So uh, you can use a vCenter or you can use a VMware workstation at the job vCenter definitely. You're going to use that one. So I'm going to shut down at this time this host because I am going to export uh, basically uh, this instance as OVF or OVA file. So let's go and use this option here to have an OVF or OVA file. So I did create another folder uh, AWS dash OVA. So let's use OVA option here on the back end and on offline I did export OVF as well. So uh, I will show you the difference between these two different uh, type of files. So this procedure will take a couple of minutes but uh, I will go and move pause and go style or uh, I will do a fast forward. Now you see here we have OVA and we have an OVF. OVA is a single file you export into your S3 bucket uh, and then OVF basically has uh, multiple versions or multiple files here. So here we have three files. So we have to export these three files into our S3 bucket then you can import back into your EC console as uh, as an image so where you can uh, use uh, procedure to have EC2 instance. First you have to go and see if you have any bucket available. So here I don't see here my customized EC2 uh, S3 bucket. This is available already default bucket. So I'm going to create one S3 bucket because we need to import OVA or OVF file into this S3 bucket. Then we have to export back into EC2 uh, 
as an EC2 instance. So I am using this uh, unique name RM11377. This is my unique ES3 bucket name. Here you can use a region where you want to have this bucket and click on next. So this is not a very difficult to go through and do this one and later on in some videos I will use some customizations and uh, some other features of the bucket. But here currently I am uh, basically creating this bucket for now for migration purposes. So here is the detail of the bucket or S3 bucket. This is basically a storage place where you store data or files, big files or small files. So here I am going to upload my OVA file into this bucket and this will take a little time and once it is done I will come back. So here you have seen the procedure how it proceeds. So once it's done after about 15-20 minutes possibly, we are going to use a video number 3 for the next steps.